game here, Alan. We are ready to go. We were waiting for a player to get in, so it was nearly <laughs> Phil City. And they're going very fast up the ramp. They're not afraid to fight on the MIBR side, and Jota well showing them how indeed it is done in Brazil, finding himself four straight out of the gate, and it's all fallen apart. They're expected to be... And maybe even do so cleanly. So immediately you can feel that they're not messing around. Nice little catch from Exit. Felt like a good idea for, for the win. They've got this mid control, but it's always a classic of what do we do with it. And the B hold just looks pretty solid. Not getting caught off, not getting messed around. Really good stuff here from MIBR. The bomb getting dropped makes life awkward. KST has managed to get the catch in the backside. His solo play is good, but the overall team... Not doing enough. See whether that keeps up. That kind of takes for the win. Great burst flash. Oh my goodness. That is gorgeous. Down goes one. They're going to need another oh. here. And quick trade. In comes Jota. Not quite ready for him. They can't get the bomb down. But he goes a bit too wide. Arguably. So now a three versus two. Should have time to get that bomb in. Henny just charging round. Doesn't spot the player off on the side. Maybe a little bit four by three. They still have just managed to get the bomb down. However, so many low HP players. And here it is. BRN. Ah, oh, he was so damn close. Couldn't get it done. Looking to move in nice and fast here. Bit of spam damage. Oh, Jota with two, though, thanks to the nade. Lovely stuff. A1S may be indeed better than the AK. Diaz has found two. Breaking back into the round, but look how damn low they are. I mean, Jota really doesn't know it. He could have gone in like a madman and maybe ended the round here and now. It's giving them a bit more space. Giving that bomb plant away ultimately but this is where as you say no kit available so one kill buying time and whatnot it really really could come down to the wire if mibr are not careful and they are taking their time they are going to go for a solo peak no real support with him great change up on the angle from stododo and it might just have fallen apart thanks once again to the orc play in from that t side henny his cash in the back pocket gonna get crept on and diaz will take him down what a wonderful recovery coming in from for the win mibr for some of his economic choices diaz loses his head beautiful shot coming in i mean the aggression much heavier from mibr here and they found not only a kill but the deep ramp control that could lead to a bit more the rn that's what he's looking for indeed wow. gonna come away with three. Oh my goodness that is a hell of a way to start a round yeah, you can see him actually looking back towards his teammates, either asking for a flash or them to spam the smoke. So he was feeling the aggression. Those are some beautiful frags. Make it four. ERNA. Make it five. With the ace, man. Looks to be the case. Jota trying to get a decent angle. He's in a really weird spot, but doesn't get checked. Even getting one there, I think, is somewhat criminal. Of course, there's two more players in on the site itself, and they're just not ready for that turtle, especially able to capitalize. Now just Stododo out in the middle. But in this series, I thought they were going to buy their script, but they actually haven't. It's more of kind of a half investment. Turtle traded, but exit equally traded on top of wood. So B frags found. Scrambling is Jota to get some... Nice frag from Henny. Made on to the plant, or at least an attempt at. There's a better one. All the same, looking pretty good. Able to get it with the spam alongside the BRN. It's all going to be down to Stododo. Each missed shot, the gap closes. He takes another one with him into the grave, but it is MIBR holding on to their lead. I think ever since that 3k, they are quite ready for him. Whoa, the flash nearly, nearly screws what? him over. It actually screws over Diaz, who... Uh, somehow doesn't really spot him. Shota's here with the assist. And it's not three for BRN this time around, but it's uh, damn near enough, right? They create three kills out of that play. Just just zero respect. Zero respect from BRN is on. He's, he's so aggressive. He's so willing to just fight around that ramp smoke. And I really wonder, Scrib, if before this game, they've had a conversation and just said, we're the better players. Let's take the fight absolutely to this for the win squad. A gill has other plans. We're going to bomb on out of this actually. So all things considered, one on five, make it look a little bit more doable. Molly's going to. You sort of get to a point where you got to commit to this, and he's not going to. It is indeed going to be that plant money. He might not even get away with this one. He does just about. I wasn't sure if he was sticking out around the corner, but surely Henny has got him dead to the rights, and indeed he does so mibr got a bit dicey in the middle there but all good flashbang's gonna help him peek 
but he's so surrounded. Orostos does full KST, swings up to the bomb site, and somehow Turtle is still alive here. Finally traded. Three on two. Bomb still yet to be planted. That's going to go down now. Two on two. Scenario, what on earth just happened there? Just the Dodo left. Falling apart, the Dodo. If there's any man to do it on this squad, he's on the AK. Not his preferred weapon, but they line up for him. And he gets the perfect... What's happened here? Henny. He's crept up beside you. I oh. think the Molly kind of gives the game away now. So Henny going to get the frag. And he also gets all that information, right? There's no one here. Looks to be a B hit. Turtle with the well-timed peak. Him and Exit have got it on a lock. Just two now remaining. They are indeed the heavy hitters here. But can Stododo do it all? No, he can't. He gets one. It'll well, be wouldn't we all? For the win. Looking to bring it. Looking to keep it. Whoa, competitive. That is a hell of a kill to win. Left eye, right eye. Slow peak as well. Pretty nasty. Turtle. Left blind. Probably spotted here. Trying to stay alive and he can't. Jota, however, is in. Needs a couple from here. And there's just too many sound cues. Can't catch the player next to him. They will obviously go for it because it is that final round of the first half. But all the same things looking very, very good for For the Win. See whether that comes back as a curse for them. But all the same. BRN looking pretty good so far in this half. Going to need to find quite a bit. If they're to pull this one back. And Henny, well, he's just setting him up for a flash. So it's not really like a two-man push in. Going to clear the one angle. But there's no one even really there. They don't get their chance at the kill that they want. In for one. And just overwhelmed by the numbers, right? Henny now has to do the impossible. They're actually going to push it in towards A by the looks of things. At least initially. Indeed, finding a player is what they were after, right? They will clear out and now be looks vulnerable on paper. But there's three players ready to go here. The Glock's closing the gap, however, and they can just be so hard to pin down. Not a single kill comes in for For the Win. It looked indeed, like you said, you know, like it could be very, very dangerous, but these pistol rounds, man, are taking... No, they're just sat around, maybe waiting for a flank to come in or something, waiting for someone to indeed push in and... Maybe the right idea, but they're losing out the gunfights against these deagles right now. Still a man advantage for For the Win. Quite a hefty one as well. BRN left very low indeed. Quick little boost up here with that retrieved Galil. Finds a kill. They've managed to get the bomb down, but it's cost them almost everything. It does get a bit tough to break back into the site, sure. But all the same, they have the manpower. You would assume that they could perhaps just brute force body their way in with this one. We'll see. Turtle's the only healthy player. He's got a good angle. Is going to get checked. Whoa, gets dinked down to 2 HP. And I mean, needed to take a fight there. Spotted out a bit too early, maybe into the play. And now BRN, what can he get done? He has to win fights. And he's just not going to be able to do so. It's for the win with the force up. And like you say, MIBR. Where was the turnaround? Where was the Rosdos going to get moving in pretty quickly? Oh, trying to catch a reload. And he'll get two. No way. <laughs> How does he get away with two? Agile's also found Turtle, and well, all of a sudden... But well, you've got players like Henny and BRN, of course, with lost bonus that may well be able to get their own. So, fair enough, but for the win, keeping it going, the back and forth, the vacillation. Oh, Jota. Wrong place, wrong time, almost failed. Sedodo so peeks out and does indeed get the frag, and... Oh, Henny and BRN are still here. BRN, man. He is so fast, and he's so competent on this Galil. Look at this man mowing down Portuguese players as he swarms onto the bomb site. That was a game-changing set of entries. Absolutely lovely stuff here. It seems like we are continuing to get... So just a couple more then of uh, the back... That's, that's kind of what I'm more bothered about, right? Looking to, to up this record and say that we were here you exactly. should be able to exit pretty cleanly though in all seriousness on that Ooh, for the win side are they thinking about re-entrying it looks like i mean not a lot of time here exit in a pretty deep position as well and they will actually just lose those rifles in the end flash is coming through the return flash is pretty damn good jill maybe needed a little bit more kst not quite good for the second, but Stododo, his time has been bought and a great little movement away. Does miss that shot, however. Thankfully not punished for it, but, you know, the, the dynamicism that we see out of this AWPer is really solid stuff, and he waits 
Bides his time until that clean flash comes move in. here. Smoke's going to go down. Jota is looking for his frag. Rostos is looking for him. Tip for tat. Headshot through the wall. Thankfully, Jota does finish it off. KST finds a trade out, but still, solid advantage for MIBR. Quick reaction as Turtle tries to apply pressure. And that smoke from a gill is, is, is beautiful. You can see how he's smoked the stairs, shown presence, and he's leading towards a... What a read! Look at this from For the Win. There's almost no information here, Squib. This is, this is pure gut to have this many numbers over. Oh! <laughs> Jill just goes charging in. Quite a hard shot to be hitting, to be fair, but he is really a thorn in the side at the moment. Oh, if he'd got a little bit more, it's just going to be down to Big Man Stadona. They don't have a lot of time, so commitment to A, certainly the only option here. He's trying to play around. So damn blind! Ooh. Oh my goodness! The stars are lined for... And it is resulting in a lot of crazy kind of rounds, sure, but also some unexpected victories for, for the win in that sense. And now looking revitalized. Blown this map wide open. And blown a few heads off in this round as well with that nade. Not looking too good on the MIBR side. Turtle, Crispy, Rosdos, they're not able to really catch him off. And he gets away with two. That A1S in amidst all the comms can be hard to pin down. So 4v3 after all is said and done on ramp. Oh, the regression. Oh, it is a right eye angle, but exit. Such an unusual oh. peak to take. And the off angle works to perfection and... Honestly, this round for the win should have been head and shoulders away, but now they're at a deficit. There's smokes to force off the dodo, should they be put down. So work to do when the gills come over saying, I need to find some frags. There seems to be the man on this CT side that, you know, can find the right timing. Squeeze in for a cheeky double going to do it now would be the time to do it i mean such a hard 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 angle to do isn't it oh and here he comes only the one though not sure that that will be enough stododo trapped in towards headshot smokes have come round he's so close on that shot but can't get it mibr move up to 13 oh nice shot on the first lost some teammates and he loses his head pretty quickly around that corner try and felt like maybe the last hurrah and they will indeed have to play for overtime by the looks of things Unless they want to keep on forcing. Or if they can get in in this round. Big nade damage after the back of that frag. Picked up AWP from Turtle. Actually not super effective. He does have a bit of cover. Able to just make it away. Tap onto the bomb. No hold as yet. If they had a kit, wouldn't this be interesting now? It is going to be the 10 second hold. Not a chance. Surely not yet. Smoke starts going down and the kills will come in. 14 for MIBR. Not sure what to expect. I feel MIBR here, you know, we're all feeling just go fast. Especially now that we know they're all together. Exit's going to get this info in. Beautiful spray control for the ace. Yes, sir. There you are. Lovely eco ace. Exit gets himself up to 20. Now battling maybe for that. What? To the final few moments. Henny nearly spotting ahead. Certainly a quiet game from him. But the info that he's gathering with this AWP is pretty valuable. BRN. Once again, finding more and more kills, right? This guy looks damn good. Maybe you don't need Henny to be working when he is doing so much. Paul Lewin needs to make a tough decision right now. Lean one way, take some information. We've got three on A now, and they're playing in front of these smokes. Jota's going to peek up behind the Molotov. There's two to greed and flashes. Is, is ineffective. Sedodo's turned it. Here, Enizan entering so many of these rounds, but can't find results this time. Turtle to peek. Two players... On the angle, wings are flash over the top as they're getting pinched from Ivy at the same time. This is awkward to put it lightly. Trades come in, Henny finally Ooh. having impact, and he wins the map. Wow, that was uh, that was bonkers. He's still outside ramp for the moment, so he's beginning to be lined up. Free outside squeaky. Surely the hit's about to come in, and these Molotovs could prove so deadly. Players behind Silo. There's nobody top hut to find that one. And they're exploding out on the flashes. Diaz isolated out. Gil still behind the Silos is quickly filtered. Odo's trying to do something from heaven. But these entries, they're just formidable. And this is exactly what we saw as well on Vertigo on that T-side pistol. They are so good at just rolling on. Disaster. Oh, speaking of, great little flash there for Diaz. Perfect timing on it. 
Gets that first kill. He's going to make it away. You know, there's no one around to trade. So really, really solid opener there for the CT side. You didn't see the other players, though. And there might be a bit of kind of a false confirmation that it is really A. They've actually isolated a two-on-one. Granted, yeah, this angle is, is epic. It's really hard to deal with, but they've found a lot of space. The rotates are a tad off, and you can see how quickly they're accelerating. Good dink, but not the frag. And whilst the space was good, the frags were not. So uh, for the win, stabilizing, and all off the back of that early uh, early bit of team play and the kill towards outer. Twenty-five seconds left. They're going to opt to drop down. I think there is a player relatively ready for this one in Stadodo. Door opens, oh. misses the shot, and loses his head. God damn! And that has to be the round. Surely four v three on the retake. You know, with low HP and no utility, uh, I don't think they really fancy their chances. They've also split the players up, right? So you don't know it, but you're in a position to get crunched. This is a bit weird. Oh, Haros Dotche will be kicking himself. And now a 4v2. Might not even get all these players out as well. Yep. Jota with a nice little 2k at the tail end. Maybe try and get some players in towards heaven. They're really not sure, right? And you can see it. 20 seconds. Couple flashes come round. But Arosdos has got the position. Agil's got the first face. That should be all she wrote, to be honest with you. They'll kind of zone into where Agil is at. Diaz goes down. Bomb drop. No time to get that one down. Exit. Now looking for damage, but he cannot find any. Fast around coming in here from that T side, looking to charge through. Agile can't really find anything. He buys a bit of time. Stadodo in with a trade, looking to get that retake smoke down immediately as well. They have been firmly locked out of this one. No uh, open plant, no chance for Diaz to get a spam through. KST moving round, gets one, loses his head the second time though. Yorenazan is down below. This could be deadly. Good for one, good for two. Beautiful stuff. And as Alan said, he just ain't missing. Diaz, what can you get done? Only one Maybe found. We'll see some of these other MIBR players sort of loosen up, as it were. Arosdos above. And Molotov. Good for a couple. Whoa, and that headshot landed through another player, right? So that was nearly a double. And now look how low they are if he'd found that one. But even then, the flank coming in here. Another Deagle KST could get the catch. His steps everywhere, though. He's really unsure of where to look. This is such a big spot. Such a big moment. Going to find one, two. Not sure where the third one is, but surely it's all said and done and Stadodo will steal it away. Again, they're so ready on this B-bomb site. Ooh. No way Yorenazan finds this. Okay. Aristotle will take him down. He is indeed mortal. But where are the rest of them? ST walking back felt like he had to find information and he gets punished and it's it's it, we've seen a lot of these rounds squib where it's it's uh musical chairs with these bomb sites players are rotating everywhere given up now to MIBR Osdos unchecked towards dark turtle oh it is in the open shielded by the smoke thank god for that he's gonna just about escape and there's a player above Arostos he's not long for this world of gil Trying to find opportunities, none being presented, and Jota, look at him. Ready and waiting! <laughs> Good flick. But shouldn't be, it's a lot of consequence of this HP remaining as MIBR streak their way to set. This is, this is so close to being, to being out of control, and this round is everything. I think at the win, simply have to win this one, and Jota has no interest in making it easy. Sure, he gets traded, but the amount of pressure he's applied is phenomenal good news is that odo has found his feet and two fast frags yeah looking good especially with that bomb hitting the deck for me i don't think that they really find too much here nice wide swing henny on 3 hp trying to just flash his way out but can't and that will indeed really biding the time arostos Great spot, not moving away, not making too much noise, finds his kill, and indeed the rest of them kept at bay. Rosdos coming in for more, what a round. Holding them from hook, absolutely beautiful stuff. Bombers hit the deck, too many bodies here to now deal with. Virenazan, the only one left. 
where he's at right now. Yeah, just too many bodies. Uh, uh, <laughs> Diaz. Okay. Rosdos is going to get caught off as well, yeah? Trying to make it away silently, but again, they've maybe found the area that is abusable in that previous round. KST. In the pesky position. Mean why you'll exit? That should be your kill every day of the week. And that may well have just opened us back up. The orb still stands. And they're playing super patient here. Can try and make a move in. Meanwhile, on the top side, Irenazan has maybe found the gap. KST. Timing. Not going to get it. He's actually going to get timing. No. Ah, oh, he will. Okay. Jota does take him down. Stododo. Final round, 1v4 on an open half HP. Uh, you'd never see this happen in a month of Sundays, as my good friend Trav would say. But all the same, he's going to have to go for it. Aid at the ready. Is that going to go into the squeaky door? Yes, it is. But it's just a ruse. Pressure's on ramp. But two players here. BRN is and connects with the first. Can't get a second as Henny gives ground. Being chased down and he hits the deck. Jota's trying to recover, but at a man disadvantage, this is good looking great for the win. Ooh, yep, looking really, <gasps> really solid. <gasps> Jota, oh, he needed more out of it. And what are they doing? You know, they're just not stopping. No one really taking any time, but maybe in all this chaos, he can find a way back in. He's found another <laughs> head and they line up. At but it leaves A exposed. If they can get into midi, this is dangerous. KST, big kill. Another one probably coming in here. I mean, Arrow's dodge gone down. Turtle trying. Irenazan also finding a frag in from behind. He's dropped the bomb. Where's he come from? And it has really, really confused them here. It's all going to be down to Diaz. A big frag, though, onto Irenazan. Maybe a bit too wide around the corner. Exit's only got 23 HP, and Diaz creeping around to find An him. An outside execute, but a much wider one. Diaz looking to creep in. He's going to be heard. He's going to be spotted. But it is, again, another fast A hit that looks super, super effective. They know where the man on the side is coming from as well here. So you'd assume maybe one more for him and then a trade. Jota trying, but as that smoke goes down, it's so awkward to find the fight. Here hoping to follow in the footsteps, but it's not happening. For the win, are doing it. 13 comes through. Henny left by himself. No option but to save. Certainly rings true that it just feels like MIBR are getting a lot of the simple CS wrong, which sometimes goes neglected when you're focusing on the, the big time strategy and complicated executes, especially with a new lineup. You've got to have good fundamentals, and this has not been a CT side shout about in terms of fundamentals. This round, though, is looking great. First frag from Henny on the player peaking hut, and from there... Kind of uh, dribbling in one by one are these Portuguese players. Just Stododo remaining and might even think about the save. And Turtle, as we can see, is, is being wisely cautious about mini. Flashbang is good, but exit. Top of the side and manages to dodge the trades, though. All go in favor of for the win. That was... That was immense entering. That setup did not complement each other at all. They all just took individual individual jewels and died immediately. Wow, that was that was incredible. Looks like not. Diaz caught one already. No one else up here. He's gonna go for the knife, isn't he? Yeah. Lovely. That'll get in Henny's head as well. We've only got 15 seconds left in the round, so they do need to be a bit quick with it. But as you can see, no one is down. No one is here on that CT side. Jota going to fall. Now they've got the man advantage even. The four on four was looking, you know, a bit shaky with the HP bars. Turtle to find a gill. Pretty big kill. Just a dodo spamming away. He's left very low indeed. Diaz needs this one and he gets it. Lovely little off angle. Three versus two. Back into the advantage situation. Turtle trying to wrestle the round back and so far doing a damn good job. It's a combined HP of 22. But Arroz Doce in behind. Could get them both and he will. Oh my goodness. 15 hit. Here, Enizan tucked in the corner. And he's reasonably close by, but this is a hard position to make work. You have to find early frags and BRN doing work. 
KST takes a dink for his trouble as well. That's bomb dropped, information handed over. So Dodo may have made it down. It looks like Jod is, with that information, making the right call. So looking good here. He'll at least get to 11. Yeah. So Dodo may be looking for a bit of damage, right, to make life difficult in these future rounds, but ultimately not expecting him to find it. 20 seconds. Round's going to be over at this point, and he's just going to move to save because it's kind of the only option, so fair enough. But they've not bought it on the MIBR side. That is the thing. They're very, very ready for this A hit. Nice find from Turtle. In comes the Cavalry. He's going to get another. Beautiful stuff, and well, now it's just a case indeed. As always on the A side of too many bodies. Up from behind comes Jota to end the round. There's a bit of damage in another there. Another fast bout of utility. Turtle trying to get down. I think he has been heard here. Yeah, yeah. Arrow's not sure going to take him down. Really solid stuff. Five on four. Great flash outside, but needed more from Jota. They managed to get into cover, right? And, well, he needed them out in the open. Needed them nice and fresh. Henny, though, above the smoke. He's going to find a kill. That drops the bomb briefly as well. Bit more damage. So back into a three on three again. Not over till it's over. Exit's trying to catch them. Brennazan might be able to catch another. So it's all been split up for For the Win. They've tried to pick up the pace again in this round. It was pretty successful for them at the start of this half. But MIBR, they are conditioned, they are ready, and they are looking fierce. The man that opened the round will be the final one to fall. And, well, no bomb plant. Strange. And as I said, Jota is down. Jota is ready. He doesn't know where to look. Look, he's, he's having to hold control, decon, and double doors, and ramp. Wow, he's got to make the perfect read. There's damage. Two frags. Honestly, he couldn't have done anything more there, considering he had to fight off literally every angle. Yeah, nearly got weird. Could be the linchpin play of uh, this round and certainly of the game. Oh, oh. Oh. Diaz will get the kill onto the A1S but can't pull it out fast enough to fend off the trades. To Dodo left against two. I mean, he's got the bomb on his back, but I was going to say he'll go for the open plant and he'll get, you know, taken down by the single door Ooh. player. Turtle, though, has maybe jumped the gun a little bit early. Exit's now been heard. To Dodo looking for the positional advantage above. And he certainly does have it. He just does not have that damn HP. Exit cannot see him. Cannot figure out where he is. Stododo has continued to walk along. And surely this is the spot to do it from. Oh, no, we can't get it. Exit the HP, the difference. It will be overtime. It will be more rounds. And MIBR, they're not quite done with the 2-0 concept just yet. We'll catch you after the break. Do not go anywhere. MIBR, things are with them. One expert reckon. We'll have to see about that, shan't we? The flashes are a bit too good, maybe, from the T side. Everyone's left blind. Well, time Molotov and a flash could get that back vent player, but they've not really considered it. He's going to come away with one. His teammates a little awkwardly left out of the open, but they just cannot finish their dinner here on either of these kills. And Turtle somehow stays alive. Flash in through the smoke. He's working around it. He's been a bit spotted. He's been tagged. They know he's in the smoke. He comes away with nearly another kill. He certainly sets Jota up at the very least. And now, of course, just two remaining. Diaz very low. A no scope from Stadoda. Use one right now. One T round would be massive here to make this all the more doable, but it's not a good start. A gill's taken low. Nade finishes the job. Scrib. This is crumbling for for the win. Not there for for the win. Like I mentioned, it was a very similar circumstance. On uh, Vertigo, so we'll see here. I mean, uh, yeah, it looks like they're going to have to get three in a row, unless the big man can do something crazy. And I don't think it will uh, will happen for him. Map like Nuke, pretty tough to pull off. Insane rounds like this. Misses the nose. Is there a T already on? No, there's not a T on the site, but... Oh, a bit weird. Boost stop wow. comes in. That's a lovely little frag. Aristotle got to find one from here at the very least, and mm. he can't. The panic setting in, that looks so awkward, doesn't it? And it might just indeed spell the end. 4v3 now. An awesome mid-round call if he finds A open. He has, though. Evens up the numbers. Yep, and here it is. They're up that vent. Bomb going to go down. Jota finding Diaz on the way out. Looking good, isn't it? They're going to have so much time. Molotov and a smoke. I mean, both players probably wanting to come in from heaven. So really going to be difficult. Yep. And just going to send it a couple flashes. Maybe going to result in a kill. Uh, I think they were all a bit blind in that scenario. Either way, two versus two now. 
Bomb planted open for these players. Tap on to said bomb. Turtle gonna get off down. Stododo looking to hold on. There's no one on the bomb. One kill. Jota can't to go find with it, it by the looks of it. It's gonna be a very late A hit. Arasdoche in for the first. This is really solid positioning now, to be honest. Jill gonna get another. More damage coming in. There's only 10 seconds to get the bomb down. They've not even really found the kills that they need to get. And uh, at this point, I feel like the round is over. Seven seconds. Turtle's left on six. He can't get that bomb down. Yeah, and they've just not given themselves enough time. What a weird... Four for the win. They've already done the impossible up against three series points. One more required before we head to double OT. And that is the opening pick they dearly desired. Wow. Gets a second as well, you would have thought. Because he's not actually able to help with clearing the site. Comes off now. And turns with a great angle to trade. What a frag. Nobody's nearby on the retake. Three on three. This could be the moment. For the win. Bit too tense. Bit too respectful, maybe. And they have indeed let the ball slip. It's still recoverable. Exit. Hidden in this corner. He's got the low HP player to deal with. He finds this one. That's going to be the ramp player taken down. I think Diaz knows where he's at. But timing. Beautifully read from exit to go for the look. It's all down to the remaining one now. Aroz Doshe. Can he get it done? Tap onto the bomb. They'll open the doors. There's no real time for this. And he has to just move and find the kills. He cannot get them. 1917. What a final map for both of those teams you really do have to say it's a fantastic recovery from mibr but that run back from for the win after a poor ct side is also nothing to shake a stick